What's up, punks? Jay here, and uh, welcome to the next episode of the Shiny Academy Challenge. Now, obviously, uh, yes, uh, last week was a disaster, considering we got no shinies whatsoever. So, <laughs> uh, obviously, we're going to have to try and think about something here. Which, um, fun. At the moment, our best course of action would be basically just just focus on Charmander because for a good amount of like say an hour or so I was trying to get a Toto Dial outbreak but that wasn't happening so what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna look for Charmander for now and I'll try again for Toto Dial next week I bet like how I did with mining might even have to sacrifice some Herba Mystica Right, let's get ready to hunt for Charmander then. The over the overhyped Salamander. This should do. Let's see what we can do then. How ironic it's raining. Considering in the anime, uh, Ash's Charmander nearly died in the rain. Okay. They should do. Herba Mystica wise, we'll go with Salty and Bitter. I'm just hoping the sandwich doesn't fail today because I'm not in the mood of doing this over and over again. I'm sure people who play Scarlet and Violet can get me on that one, right? Like, it was cool at the time, but now I'm frankly sick and tired of the sandwich minigame. Mainly because it's so flippin' sensitive about what you do with it. Sorry about that. Why? What am I doing wrong with this one? <sighs> I'm just, not, I'm not in the mood to get been messed around by the sandwich mechanic today. But it feels like every time I try to, I do. I need to put three pieces in, don't I? I'll try three pieces. I don't want to know what a video would be if I just had a egg like, where I was just rip failing sandwiches. It'd be like two hours long. But. Right, I'll try it with three pieces of red pepper this time. Oh, please work this time. Come on, man. Uh, 
There. Please work this time. <clears throat> okay, I need to remember three pieces this time. Like when it comes to the uh, uh, cucumber and pickle. Yeah. Okay, you look. You Charmander's duped me last week. I'm not having it this week. One of you is going to show up yellow, and I will be happy about it. And then we'll continue with the challenge until next week when we'll try again with Toto Dial. Do I make myself perfectly clear? And it better be Crystal. But not Pokemon Crystal, because that, that game is really expensive. And very hard to find. Yeah, if you guys like this content so far, please don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. We're doing great with our progress, and maybe you can help us reach that goal of 100 subscribers. And if that's not a reason to subscribe, I don't know what is. <laughs> Thank God. And it's marked as well. Oh, shiny Charmander. Alright, listen, you are going to get in this Pokeball straight away. I don't want any Flare Blitz, Monarchy. Thank you. Alright, what do I do for the next flipping half an hour? <laughs> Alright, uh, for starters, I can actually sort out my overlay. This can hide. And this can go over here. I have redeemed myself. I will put that in the box. And we will evolve that when the sandwich is up. When did that happen? Charmander the Sleepy. <laughs> that, that's me every time I hear the name Charizard. I'm sleepy because I'm sick of it getting over monetized. Okay, so like what we did the last time this happened, we'll keep going with Charmander and keep seeing how many we can get. Maybe some viewers could get it. Maybe we'll surprise trade it. Or more importantly, we'll go around that bit of the area that Charmander also spawns with Fennekin and Magmar. Try and get them off the list. A bit like how we did last week with um, Grookey and then we randomly found Blossom and Execute. And the only other main fire types that show up around here are Fennekin and Magby. And Magmar, depending if I'm lucky enough. Yeah, around here we'll hunt. Don't know why there's Vibrava showing up in a flipping sandwich like this. There we go, Magby's. So Magby goes orange, and we know what Fennekin goes to. And Magma goes pink for some reason. Ah, oh, there you go. See, Fennekin. Magby, Magby, Magby. Obviously, we'll check for char more Charmanders as well, because that's what we're looking for. <laughs> I thought that bit of yellow was a shiny, then. The Fennekin are hidden in the grass very well.
They're not the right kind of Pokemon. Not one bit. That was, but it's not shiny. <laughs> Why do I always do that shiny? <laughs> yes. I got really, I got a lot of really bad voice habits, haven't I? You're thinking about it. it, kind of acts like, um, Magby and Magbar kind of swap colors. I'm not saying that Magmar is, um, orange, but obviously its color scheme would make orange. And then, obviously, Magby's sort of a baby pink. Yeah, I'm just heading back to the main area. Just to check for one or two Charmanders. One question I have to ask for all these Charmanders is why didn't you show up like that before? Last week. And maybe another reptilian starter that might have been helpful to show up early. Wink wink. Toto dial. Instead I got flipping too Brooksish. I don't even like Brooksish to begin with. <laughs> that thing's ugly. Like I know it's supposed to be ugly, but it, it is ugly. Just having a little snoop around. <sighs> when I see that, I think it's just a small magmar. And hence, I think that magmar is shiny. Obviously, that is not the case. I need to be careful as well. I could also bump into a Litleo or a Pyroar. Obviously, they'll get boosted by the sandwich. I'm not saying that'd be a bad thing. Again, like we've completed this, this step of the challenge, so it wouldn't be the end of the world if we find something that we're not looking for. It's only a, the end of the world if it's something that, you know, I'm not looking for, and I haven't found our target yet. Jesus Christ. And here comes the rain. Nasty itch. Oh, I hope we get to hunt for Trapinch soon. That line of Pokemon are amazing. At least I know where I need to go for Fennekin and Magmar if I don't find them today. Back over to the dang Charmanders because they're all in the rain. Nope. None of them. Nada. I bumped into a little Charmander. 
Yeah, we've gotten a lot of stars out of the way Qu uh, quite early in this challenge. And Tauros, please no. Just don't. Like we've got Froki, Grookey, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Chikorita. Uh, am I missing others? Any others? No, I don't think so. And obviously now today we've got Charmander. Hey, we've got all the Kanto stars now. That's cool to think about, actually. A question of everyone, though. What is your favorite Kanto starter? I can say it's not Charizard. I am not a fanboy of that guy. I just don't like how... It gets so overhyped. The overhyped of the overhypedness of Charizard has kind of killed it for me, which is a shame because I know it has its good qualities. It's just it's not as good as everyone's saying it is. You could kick a bit of dirt in its eye and it would die because of how because of the rock weakness. Like you would, lit you could literally kick a pebble at it and it would get killed. <laughs> At least with Venusaur and Blastoise, they have a bit more bulk and power to them. Like, they have a reason to gloat. Especially Venusaur. When you get that thing going, you can't stop it. Like, back in my Sword and Shield VGC um, phase, I used a Sun Team with a Gigantamax um, Venusaur, and I named it Alkali. You know, because sometimes some flowers have acid and alkalis in there. Um, well, I don't know what it's called, but you know, the area that they have in in the middle of their flowers. What that actually holds the poison that they secrete. Anyway. Uh, I just had that thing with chlorophyll, max special attack. It's just swang. It just kept swinging, swinging, until I died. I, un until I won, basically. Mate, Venusaur is a really good option for just... And it, even in it, it's got the bulk to survive and stay around for a while. Like, a really long time. Especially if you're Dynamaxing it. Hey. I thought I had a feeling that would happen sooner or later. That's a that's a second one of the day off the list. Benekin. It's a lot more of a bluish silver than I realized. I actually might be able to spin the wheel today. <laughs> Obviously, we saw I didn't have a mark, so I can go straight into the Academy Challenge box. Alright. Nope, that needs to stay. I can go. It's all about fire types today. Last last time we had a good amount of um, shinies, it was from a lot of grass types. Hey, we just got a follow as well. Kaching Ops. Uh, sorry if I mispronounced that. King Ops. Apologies for that. I'll get used to your name um, over time. Thank you for the follow and welcome to the channel. Hope you're doing good. We just managed to catch a Fennekin. That's uh, two Pokemon off the challenge now. That means it's just chest bin for the original line now. Uh, for the Kalos line and then that's it. Because we've managed to catch Froakie in the past. And obviously when this uh, sandwich is done I'll update the recent tab. If you want to quickly grab the Torchic clip before I replace it, now is your chance. 
All right. Um, for the for a bit out of context for new, the new people around, if you can see a Toto dial on the on hold sign, I'm gonna bring it up to you. Last week we tried to hunt for it. It was a disaster. It never showed up, and I found two Brooksish. It was annoying. Cause one, I hate Brooksish, and two, it just wasn't just showing up. Like there's two hours looking for it. So I just had to quickly go on to Charmander last week, and I couldn't even find that. Yeah, it wasn't really good for morale boost. So we've tried again, and hey, we've prevailed. We managed to find Charmander and Fennekin in one sandwich. And so I'm, I'm still looking for more Charmanders, it's just I'm flicking now for more Magbees. And just to know if there are any duplicate Shinies of what we find today that are on the list, People in the chat might have access to them tonight, courtesy of a moi. And we're 10 followers away from our um, Twitch follow goal of 390. I didn't choose that number, Twitch recommended it to me. Maybe I should just jump it up to 900. <laughs> It really depends. Yeah, um, now that the dust has settled for Le a Pokemon Legend ZA, I kind of feel like it'd be a good idea for me to share my thoughts about it while I'm hunting. Shit. I am s slightly speechless. <laughs> <laughs> King Ops just redeemed shout out how evil. Let's go. Sure. <laughs> that works. Honestly, thank thank you for the chair. We um as weird as this sounds like we rarely get any kind of donations or bits, so anything like that I'm greatly appreciative. But yeah, I hope you're having a good day today, um Seeking, seeking ops. <laughs> Again, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. I will get used to it. Or if anything, if you want to recommend a better way of me saying it, I just got a hundred bits. <laughs> How, what does that convert to in real money? I can't remember. But yeah, massive thanks for that. Alright, let's get back to shiny hunting since you've um, <laughs> given me such appreciation in the first few seconds of being here. But yeah, I'm back to me talking about Le um, Legend of ZA. Obviously, I was a little bit let down by the idea that we're basically not getting a Unova remake or a Legends Unova game. But arguably, thinking when you think about it, it is the logical choice. Because Gen 6 kind of had the least bit of attention given to it, even when it was in the spotlight. Like, all these other games in the genera in the franchise's history had another attempt to go into the generation, like Emerald, Platinum, Black 2, White 2, or just an Ultra Moon. Even the Switch games had DLC expansions to kind of expand their games a bit more. Kalos didn't get that. It got a Hoenn remake, but that didn't go anywhere near Kalos apart from the Mega Evolution gimmick. So it makes sense, because Pokemon always white, always try to make sure that all the generations are... Um, what's the word? Yeah, re relevant? Can I join the Discord call plaza? I suppose, but... as long as, um... As long as um, you're, um, what's it? Well, I'll say responsible and understanding like of certain things. Again, thanks for another hundred bits. Again, just to. Be sensible about it, really. Click. Like, usually, I do talk to just mods, uh, my, my mods team, but 
I've never really thought of the idea about letting the chat will chat. I think I might have to come up with a rule set or something. Hello. Hello. Um. Right. Let me sort out this because that's way too big. Also, just so you know, uh, I am responsible. Uh, I am a Twitch streamer myself, so I understand how to be responsible. I I get it, but if 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 this makes sense to you, but I we you have had um, troublemakers before. Yeah, I I completely understand troubles and stuff like that. So it's just like trust issues of anything. Mm-hmm, I get it. Right, ten minutes left on the sandwich, let's see what we can do. Oh, I have to wait to type in chat, because... Ten minutes, you have to wait. Is that why you've only been doing shoutouts? Kind of. <laughs> Ugh, I did that to try and stop, like... Bots from showing up. <laughs> it's a good I was gonna donate anyway. I'm gonna have to have a think about that. Oh, that was quick. Oh, just a random rallet. Maybe we should implement something like a loyalty club. Like, um, only trusted to loyal, like, loyal and responsible members of the group. Hmm. That'd be the worst idea. That's, that's, that's actually properly look for any more Charmanders just in case. Oh, fuck up. Uh, apologies. I forgot to activate Stream Raiders. Again. Yeah, I just saw something I'm kind of scared about. There. Is that...? No, it, it looked like it from my perspective. Alright, let's get Stream Raiders going. Oh, I heard a sobble. Right. Sorry about that. things be. I 
Obviously, when the Samwen Gens will um, evolve Charmander and Fennekin to get Charizard and Delphox. So, obviously, we'll be waiting to see how that turns out. And from what I've heard, Shiny Charizard looks really good in this. And we've already seen what Delphox looks like, so... Hey, um, Siking, are you still there? Unless that 10 minutes isn't up yet. I have to come clean about this. Like, it just feels like my luck is too inconsistent to be anything decent. Two weeks ago, we got like four or five shinies. No, no, four. Yeah, four. We got four shinies in one video, in one stream. And last week we got nothing. And now we've got another two from one sandwich. I'd like a bit more consistency in my flipping shinies, please. I'm sure any well-deserving shiny hunter understands what I'm getting out of here, right? Four minutes. It's a shiny magby. Three shinies. Amazing. It's like a repeat what happened last time. Oh. Sorry. YouTube's gonna be in Fantanet. Uh. Oh, right. <laughs> I need to get the thing up. <laughs> yeah, that's a Gen 2 mon, isn't it? Ah, Magby. It didn't have a mark, so straight in the boxes. All right, let me see. We can use this one for Magby. I don't know why it's tiny, don't judge me. <laughs> cool. Right. Okay, three shinies down. Let's see what the sandwiches are. One minute. I guess it's just a mad dash back to the Charmander to see if we get another one, since that was our initial target. Jesus Christ, me saying initial. I don't even know what the original term for initial even means. I'll just say it's our main target. <laughs> Oh, 
Oops. I swear. If we spin that wheel again and we get something as crazy as Cyndaquil, I'm sorry, but I gotta go to Legend Arceus to grab that one. I just don't like the idea of me having to flip in shiny Hunter Cyndaquil in this game. I was just about to say, um, I'd be willing to flip a Masuda for it, but after what happened with Sprigatito, I made the right choice by not saying anything. <laughs> okay. I am a crazy guy. Okay, sandwich is done. What a and what a sandwich it was. Three fire types. Charmander, Fennekin, and Magby. If I'm not mistaken, that's all the fire types in the savannah biome were done. Almost like all the grass types in the savannah biome. In the, in the, the tropical, sorry. Alright, that's a save. And let's evolve these guys. Obviously, with Magby, I can't evolve it into a Magmortar because I need to trade it. And no one's in chat right now, so... Okay, we're going to have to give these guys five medium each. First off, Charmander. Into Charmeleon. And then Charmeleon. I mean, and then Charmeleon. Into Charizard. Oh. They. As much as I don't like how Charizard gets up to overhyped, I'll admit, they did his model right, this gem. Look at that thing. Air Slash. Alright, now on to Fennekin. That's a nice color. And there we go. Of course, this isn't the first uh, Delphox we've got. There's also the legendary Zigatron. Out of context, I'll admit, but it was a fun time. Yeah, one of our viewers um, decided to name it that. And finally, Magby. <laughs> eh, Magma's always been iffy for me, I'll admit. Whoa, I think I made a few mistakes there. Another job well done. Oh my, four flipping fire types done. We're getting close to our first box of the Academy Challenge getting done. Might have to start getting the new one ready. So let me see how many stars we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, sh eight uh, starters. All right then. Haven't done this in weeks, but it's time to spin the wheel, lads. It's time to spin the wheel. 
Alrighty. First off, we gotta get um, Magby and Fennekin off the list. Because we just found them, so. There. 38 Pokemon left to find. Alright, for the Academy Challenge, our next hunt is going to be... Ooh, Tentacool. I've never hunted that before. Alright then, let's see what we can do. So I forgot to get a few resources. And by resources, I mean resource. <laughs> At least we're not dealing with a starter this time. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but it's a bit intense when I do those. That needs to stay like that, because, you know... I might have to make a new file. Ah, oh, no, we're good. Yeah, I was doing some Dynamax adventure hunting. Also, why is Quaxley still there? There you go. There. Goody, goody. Alright. Oh god, we gotta go back to the tropical zone. I'm getting sick and tired of the theme in the tropical zone. <laughs> Amount of times I've been doing hunts in that one. editing ahead of me. <laughs> yeah, you can't blame me for trying. I'm just having a quick snoop around Turtledale's spawn. Just in case I get incredibly lucky. And that's a bunch of blizzles. Yeah, for all we know, that could have been shiny, but it was worth a check. It was worth a check. Alright, here we are, the tropical biome. This is where tentacles spawn. That also helps. Uh, just a note as well for other people who are new here. If the evolution shows up shiny, it counts. So, arguably I could use this Tentacruel outbreak to get it. Okay, thinking about this on top of my head. It would be an idea to make a poison sandwich. So I'm going to need to update on the sandwich recipe guide. Poison. Green peppers. 
Let's make a sandwich, eh? What do I green peppers do that? Sweet and spicy. Right, I need to stop doing that. I'll do. Yeah, with me setting up this poison sandwich, only tentacruels and tentacruels should show up. And in come the disgusting pickles. I hate pickles. Try something so I'm not been sitting in an awkward spot. That ain't working. Um, oh, I know. Uh, welcome me here. I'll try to sort this out. Obviously, it's while I'm waiting for the ad to finish and the animation to finish of the sandwich, so yeah. Okay, we're good, we're good. See, problemo salvo. And ad's finished and everyone's back. Poison sandwich. I'll let the next hunt begin. Echo, don't do it. There we go. All right, I've also got to kill these um, tentacruels. Frenzy will do it. Mainly because it's the, he's the only person in my team that can... She's the only person in my team that can fly right now. See what I mean? It's not just tentacruels. Tentacruels are spawning around the outbreak. So I have a really good chance of finding it now. This is mainly going to be a problem for the fact that this is incredibly laggy. One of the main reasons why I'm really glad that they're deciding to slow it down with how they're making Legend ZA. Come on now. Be nice to me. Come on, Squidward. Wow, that's a really small tentacruel. As soon as this reaches 60, we can pop in and out then. Honestly, Tentacruel's cry is so Gen 1. It's weird.
Come on, where are you? Seeking, I'm... Um, yeah, you're not here, are you? <laughs> Whoops, accidentally hit a bubble up. Hey, get over him. The important thing is I stay near the trainer. Because if I find the shiny too far away, it will despawn and I, it'll be classed as a fail then. Because obviously it won't exist by the time I get there. Yeah, because I, if I made a water sandwich, those pop those could have shown up. Which would have been nice, because it's on the list, but... Hmm. One thing at a time, I guess. I haven't had any signs saying that I've gone past 30 yet. Did I miss it or something? Come on. Definitely getting lower, that's the 60 mark. Yeah, 30 is starting to get lower, and 60 is definitely getting lower. Alright, so now it's just a case of driving around and seeing a different colored squid. Whether it be a tentacool or a tentacruel. But arguably I have more of a chance to find a tentacruel. Because of how outbreaks work. I need a new hobby. <laughs> I'm crazy. Oh, they hide under the water. Lovely. As if I didn't need another reason to have a hard time finding it. I don't know why I'm picking all it up. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot that, um... Toad's cool and Toad's cruel are a thing. Oof. With how, um, discreet, um, Pop Leo's shiny is, sometimes a little, sh um... Different coloration due to lighting can mess me up like it did then. 
So we're looking for a tentacool that has green spots on it instead of red spots. Mm. Pardon me. Whoops. Come on, where are you? I understand this is what jellyfish do. Oh. Yeah, they're more jellyfish, aren't they? Than squids. Oh, I don't know. Like, they've got some characteristics of squid, but they've also got some characteristics from jellyfish. get sick of this particular theme in the Blueberry Academy. Uh, again, because I've just done so many hunts on this challenge in this biome. And still got quite a few left to do. Whoops. Nobody wants to be my friend. Particularly shinies. Shinies do not want to be my best friend. This stupid to play appears. Oh, Stream Raiders is ready, but I got a funny feeling I'm the only person that put something onto the board. <laughs> Such as war. It's always one person that starts it. <laughs> Whether it's a lame politician or a dictator. You pick which one's worse. Oh, two units! Someone joined me tonight. We shall see who he is in the he who they are in a minute. Gotta make sure I am representative. Is it bad that some of these words I'm even saying I don't a hundred percent know what they mean, but I know they fit in the sentence. <laughs> I'm just sad sometimes, aren't I? No, if I see red, that's not good.
This is kind of pushing it, I admit. Or am I just being impatient again? Whoops. Nope. Not those two. Uh, apologies for being quiet, I'm just generally just focusing on finding this jellyfish squid whatever it is thing. I can't help but hear that bass in this theme, it's annoying. Yeah, this is gonna play with me for days now. Like, is Tentacruel based on a squid or a jellyfish? Or is it both? them a shinny. Just checking around. No. Yep, nope. Hitty, hitty, jibby. I guess that thing will pop the other again. I just gotta check just in case. Obviously, it isn't. Okay, let's keep moving. How much time does the summer have? 13 minutes, okay. We're, we're trying, we're trying. I do believe I might have used up some of my luck earlier. <laughs>
Come on, give me a jellyfish, squid thing, whatever it is. Whoops. I'm surprised that hasn't happened before. When this sandwich is done, we'll do the stream raiders. Ten minutes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No! Oh, no! No! Oh, it was right there. Oh, come on. I was trying to get back as quick as I could. How about find that again? Right, I'm sticking to the tentacruels now. Not messing around with anything underneath. This is the best odds of spawning something, a shiny. I'm sticking with it. I pulled the shiny cavern. Dang it. Maybe I should do a picnic reset thing. Ah uh, yes, it takes like five seconds for my Pokeball to actually pull my Pokemon back. I really feel upset with myself about that. Oh, could have been sorting it out, getting ready for the next hunt by now.
It's a really risky way to despawn things, as you've just seen. I'm an idiot sandwich, I could have gotten it by now. Why, why is it so laggy? I wish this game was a bit more built up. What's that another sandwich? Seven minutes. Come on. Again, I, it's more down to me for the fact that I did it, it's just I fucked it up. I'm the thing that made the f Ugh. Can't even put to words how annoyed I am at myself. I'm gonna get a bit testy now as well. And a little bit on edge. Another really small tentacle. I didn't save before I started the outbreak, did I? Apologies for the silence, I'm just concentrating again. <sighs> Three minutes to go.
The more I despawn, the more chances I have. So I just gotta keep going. Come on, please. Last minute finisher. Ah, and he's fucking bumped into a tent. Cool. Every time we do that, more time is wasted. And I do it again! Whoa! Stop running into things. It's wasting time. What's that? Was that a shiny tentacle? That's two now. That's fucking two. Two shinies I failed now. If I'm not pissed off at myself now, if I wasn't pissed off at myself before, I am now. I, uh, I failed two shinies now. From the same flipping evolution line. If I just turned around before I flipping went away. I didn't even try to activate my camera then. Stop running into things! I'm paranoid now. I'm full on paranoid. And I ran into another one. Whoa! Thirty seconds. I think the sandwich is up. Yeah, it is. This may sound silly, but I might try and see what I can do with just the outbreak without the sandwich. It's happened before. 
I have done it before. Keep despawning them. <sighs> Why am I even saying that? The sandwich is up. There's no time to waste anymore. I get there's literally no time left to waste. Not the blossom. I'm so pissed at myself. For God's sake, stop running into fucking other Pokemon. Did it again. Trust me guys, I am trying my hardest here to redeem myself. And if you want to see any more flipping as ascensions to chaos and insanity, please consider liking and subscribing. Come on.
Okay, we might have a rhythm here because a lot of spawning and despawning. I just got to keep an eye out. The more ads we play at the moment, the better. Especially since I'm doing something so... monotonous. I don't even know if I said that right. I swear to you guys, my heart is in my throat. Just trying to redeem myself here. Again, like, I'm just really sorry about me fucking up there, and I'm sorry for being quiet. Because we'd be moving, we'd be trying to hunt the last Pokemon of the stream right now. We'll still try to. If anything, I might have to do another sandwich. But if there's a way I can try and do it without, that's what I'm trying to do right now. If it does get to a point where that can't happen, I'll make another sandwich. It's not like Herb Mystic is an a, a limited capability of grinding. In a way. It's just, it's more annoying that I fucked it up myself. Like, there's nothing else to blame but myself on that one. Maybe it's the exhaustion See, I did try to react to the tentacle when that showed up like it was already running away from me before I could react quick enough Trying to get far enough away so they despawn, but not too far so if it shows up again, it doesn't despawn again. And a random pop they'll go the way. I will try one more separate hunt from this before we finish today.
This is just like, I think I'm losing my mind here. Start heading back just in case. Hope more despawn so more respawn. Another sandwich. I got. It. If we didn't find it at all, I'd just reset it, so we'd get it again. But no, we found it, and I failed it. So I need to do it again. And yes, I'm not saving just in case we fuck up again. So then I get two loads of sandwiches back. While I'm making this, I'll get stream raiders going. Oh god, my mouse is gone again. This happens. Right. You're telling me I have to keep it open to actually keep it playing. You've been skirmished? Enough already. <clears throat> right.
There. Oh, good lord. A minute. I need a minute. Try that again. And yeah, I am not going any faster than this. Again, I'm really sorry about the quiet. <clears throat> it's just concentrating. And also the fact there's no one to talk to right now. Which I'll admit, I'm not fond of, but nothing I can do about that. The more I bump into things, the flippin' the more I waste time. Why are there so many poplios on the beach? Take a breath. No. I 
Just to say as well, um, for the Sea of Thieves information, we have officially come up with the name of our ship, the Echo of the Damned. It's piratey, but it also does references to Echo as well, so it works. So yeah, our ship will be known as Echo, the Echo of the Damned. The Echoes of the Damned. Maybe it's not that. Yeah, it was going to be pretty obvious that I was going to be going past the 2 hour mark if I was going to try again for Tentacool. Even more so for the fact I still want to try and have one more hunt after this. Oh, again, I'm just so pissed off at myself. The only reason why I'm still looking for these things is because I fucked up. Maybe I should drive along the shore. It's not stopping them from spawning. And it's easier to turn around. Of course, of course. There! Yes! Oh, thank god. Yeah. Now. Oh, god. Shiny tentacle. And we'll use Charmander here as Tentacruel.
There. Oh, God. Echo, what have I said about evolving? You're just as fun as you are. Alright. Obviously that took two worths of sandwiches for that to happen, thanks to my incompetence. But, it's done. I don't have to worry about the jellyfish slash squid. Right, let's spin the wheel. And ignore that, that's where I get my gift resources. There. So for the final hunt for tonight, our last hunt will be... Drillbur! Ooh! I like that. I like the idea of that. Alright. Drillbur. Ah, here we go. I randomly bumped into one the other um when I was going through um Scott at uh, the DLC for the first time. Oh, that's tiny. We're eating good tonight, guys. <laughs> if I actually manage to get away with this one. And yep, this will be the last hunt of the night, so... Right. I might need to be careful though, because I still got that poison sandwich up. And I'm going for areas where some poison types show up. So Viper, Gloom, Vile Bloom. I need to be careful for that. See? I didn't know there was an Executor outbreak. Yep, there's oh, glooms, oddishes. We don't we don't need to look for oddish anymore since we found Blossom, but hey, wouldn't we'll argue with results. Tentacruel spawns at the tropicals. The trop this part of the tropical biome. Uh, that might have been good for a change of pace. Oh yeah, he's suing quillfish as well. That's not on the list as well because obviously quillfish was in the base game, so. Here we are. Now if I remember remember correctly, Drillbur is a pure ground type. It doesn't become a ground steel type until it evolves to an Excadrill. Here we are. And there's a drill bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. B. 
pickle, cucumber. Oh, what was for ground again? Ham. Steamed hams. That's bacon. Oh, whoops. Hmm. Salty and sour. Again, why is this so bright in Charged Stone Cavern? A ham and pickle sandwich. Do you think this is just lechonk meat? <laughs> whoa, 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 oh, whoa, whoa, the leaning tower of chonky <laughs> So we need to look for a, a drill bit that's got war paint on and has hypothermia. <laughs> Let the last hunt begin. Yep, drill burrs. Considering this isn't the first time I've found a drill bow, I'm assuming this could be... Oh, we could bump into excadrills. Excadrills are a lot easier to spot than drill bows are, but... I can just remember Iris' excadrill in the anime, and just how it had it. Even though it was a Pokemon, it, it kind of felt like it had an accent to me, like, Excadrill! I can't even think of what um, accent is that. Like, uh, if anyone in the comments can try and figure out like what I'm on about with Excadrill's accent in the anime, like I don't know. I just don't know. I am a weird person. I ain't denying that one. I am a weird person. I think I'm starting to get a bit of strain from stress and exhaustion. But I'll pull through. Besides, I've got two more days before the next stream. Oh, big news. For this uh, single player stream coming up, guys. I'd like to say that on the uh, 20th of uh, March, I will be streaming Hi-Fi Rush on the channel. I'll be going in cohorts with um, Persona 5 Tactica, especially since that's giving vibes of it being finished soon. Although, knowing Atlas, they wouldn't do a small game. <laughs> There's lots of mole boys. Will you stop? Should I kill you? I'm gonna kill you. Good work, honey crisp. He was asking for it. Right. Let's go back on to drill by hunting.
frankly, um, back in the um, first time I went for the Indigo Disc, I kind of had a rough situation because when I first went out, I was so dedicated into using an Archeladon. Because, you know, like it, it was the big new toy to use in Pokemon and all that. So, um, obviously that was my Steel type up. And then, so when I found the shiny um, Drillbur, I was kind of kicking myself. Because, yeah, it's a shiny. I want to use a shiny in my team. But, <sighs> what, what can you do in that situation? Nothing. I did eventually use that Excadrill. I tr did try to use it in VGC, but unfortunately it does feel like it's been power crept a little. I can remember it was really useful in Sword and Shield. But in all, in all fairness, though, like, I have only played um, the Sword and, only the Sword and Shield and the Scarlet and Violet meta game in VGC. So I, I don't know if it was any better in any other generation when it came to VGC. People only just talk about singles and smog on, on um, YouTube, which, in my opinion, is kind of annoying. Cause uh, you know the whole, I want to try and get some useful information on uh, tips and tricks. But nope, I gotta learn the hard way. Yeah, people obviously talk about VGC when it comes to stuff like the official uh, format of the Pokemon World Championships and the legend himself, Wolf Click, but. It just feels like people talk about Smogon a lot more than VGC for some reason. It's weird. And yeah, I'm sorry if I'm going on like this and then all my non-VGC um, viewers are just wondering why I'm talking Greek. Because <laughs> believe me, I get that. It was a bit confusing when I first heard about how people competitively breed their Pokemon. But in all fairness, ever since the, those access accessibility... Um, quality of life improvements came with Sword and Shield and Scarlet and Violet. It's a lot easier to make a team these days instead of just hoping you can get the right IVs from a breeding from a breeding one, a Pokemon. I should stop talking. I'm stressing myself out again. <sighs> yeah, I feel a bit better about the situation about the Tentacruel and Tentacool because I, I kind of redeemed myself. I think I was more scared of the fact I wasn't going to find it. But obviously now I have, I don't feel as bad now. If anything, in a few weeks I'll probably find it funny. I do need to be more careful though. I can't keep failing shinies like that. I know it's not important anymore. Like, it's more of a personal challenge. And it's, if anything, it's kind of keeping me busy until... Pokemon ZA comes out at the end, in the beginning of next year. I'm assuming the beginning of next year, anyway. I don't know. Something seems off about all this as well. I'd like it, the game to have a bit of a break and then come out like maybe beginning of February. Have all of January to finish off any last minute tweaks. I don't know. I, I got a funny feeling they're gonna unveil something this year. Which would be a bad thing in some ways. Hey, it'd be a good, way, good thing for me for content, but... It'd be kind of bad for the quality of the games that would come out. Because it's not just the fans that are suffering with this. It's the developers that actually have to put in the, the blood, sweat and tears into these games. But they don't have enough time to perfect it. It's just heartbreaking. It's just... Uh, what was it called? Um, It's the thing that got Skylanders sunk. Monetization, was it? Like, they're pushing out too many games for the developers to work with, really. If anything, the only thing Pokemon should do this year 
is maybe add a few main games to the um, Switch Online subscription. Like get um, Fire Red, Leaf Green. I'll get um, Red, Blue, Yellow. Gold, Silver. Fire Red, Leaf Green. Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. All on that. People will be fine for the rest of the year. We, we'll be able to cope with that. And hey, hey, if you could somehow get up in XD Gale of Darkness sorted out, I'll be happy there. I've always wanted to do something like that. I was even considering um, emulating it on the stream. Let me know in the comments if you'd like that, a playthrough of XD Gale of Darkness. My first experience in a, with a Pokemon game with, without this physical special split. Uh. Twenty-one minutes to go. So yeah, next week we'll um, I'll try again to get a another Toto Dart outbreak. And then we'll prioritize that and then move on to either Drillbur if we don't find this now, or we'll be able to spin the wheel after we found Totodile. <sighs> Pardon me. Another ad? Jesus. Didn't even give me a warning that time. Let me just see. Charmander, Fennekin, Magby, Tentacool, a drill burr. That's five shinies in one stream. That's good, that. Really good. Funny, I randomly, randomly bump into it a few months ago. Now, it's starting to hide. Oh, Stream Raiders is ready. We shall do that when I'm done here. I wonder how two units again. Ooh, someone's being generous. I wonder where Sea King went. I thought that was a shiny then, but it was just the mouth of an electric.
shocking. Very shocking indeed. Arguably, I think I'd prefer if we find an Excadrill, because as you can see, they're quite big. So it's easy to spot their difference. Yeah, pardon me. For the on. Meh. That's just a random Electros. But yeah, back to what I was saying um, to ZA ages ago. Um, it was generally a good choice for how much attention XY's gotten. I'm just generally hoping they get it right. Because I'm not so fond of the idea that people have been theorizing that the entire game's just going to be in one city and that's it. Because, like, how will wild Pokemon work with that? Just random patches of grass in between the buildings? I don't think that would work. I'm not saying I know how it, they would do it, but the way people have been theorizing, I don't like it. It just wouldn't work with the whole ideals that Pokemon's been doing from the start. You know, um, the whole nature thing. What's the point of a game that's supposed to symbolize nature if it's in a city? It's kind of why Scarlet and Violet was exciting from the start. Because it felt so... F it looked like it was going to be a free experience. A, f a freedom-fulfilling experience. There you go. It kind of was, but it also wasn't. If anything, yeah, Le Legends Arceus was the closest to us giving having a free experience. A freedom fulfilling experience. But that wasn't really it because it was more l linear open world. Like, there was a hub and there were different environments that were open world, but it wasn't exactly like Breath of the Wild or anything. Twelve minutes, Jesus. Yeah, there's no excuse for this one. Like, Joba should show up soon.
Nope. 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 Double no. Triple, quadruple, quintuple, septuple, nope. Nope. Come on, I want a mole. Give me a mole with some Wolverine looking claws. Wolverine never had a catchphrase, did he? It was more like just. Can it? It was just Canada on steroids. <laughs> okay, that's funny to think about. I didn't even know where he got the Bob part of his speech patterns. Like, every time he finished a sentence, he would go Bob. And he'd always call Professor X, uh, Professor X Chuck. I know it's because, like, Professor X Xavier's name was Charles. Or obviously some people call um, people named Charles Chuck. <sighs> did they have, did he ever say Chuck in the live action X Men films? Like you know when Hugh Jackman played him. I don't know. Yep, none of them. Not you. Not them two. Not you two. I don't know why I was looking at electric so much. Sorry, just repositioning my head. Dang it. It looks like the claws don't change much. Come on. I find you by accident ages ago and I can't find you on purpose now. Typical. Seven minutes, oh boy. The chances of me having to do this next week is very high. I 
they spawn a lot over here. Maybe I should uh, prioritize around here. Whoops. Yeah, it's showing up a lot here. Like, it's like a mini up. It's like an unofficial outbreak. Come on. None of them. Not you. Nope. Nope. Whoops. I nearly bumped into you, which I didn't want. Um, yeah, sorry for this random silence there. Uh, I just, I don't know why I was so silent there. Oof. It's like I was putting so much effort in to try and find this shiny drillber or something. Scrap. Three minutes to go. And yeah, I said scrap, Kira, if you're watching this. Get used to it. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just an in-universe joke, really. Kira doesn't like it when I censor myself.
yeah, there, there, there is a very, very good chance that this is happening next week. So like I said, back with the tentacruels. The more that happens, the more time is wasted. Some things spawned. If that drill but didn't interrupt us, we could have had a last minute spawn then. But now the sandwich is done now. And that's just rubbing salt on the wounds. Thing is, if Tentacruel didn't take so long, we might have had some more time to deal with this. But, oh well. I guess I just had to suck it. That's what this game's basically telling me. Oh well. Hey, I can't complain. We got four shinies today. <sighs> it was just a bit extra fuss with it as well. And there we go, we got some sandwich pieces back. Alright, well, um, obviously next week we'll work on Totodile, but if not, we'll work, we'll go back to Drillbo. Right, let's do the last stream raiders of tonight, and then we'll get going. And, yeah, that's just... My mouse is missing again. I might have to get a new mouse at There we go. Ghost Circuit 666. Like, it 
If anything, as you say, thank you for doing that. So, that's the end of the stream. Arguably, this was pretty good today. We have uh, 200 bits from Sea King, which was amazing. Uh, we got four shinies. We could have had five. <clears throat> Tend to crawl. But above all else, this was a good stream. Not bad. Yeah, as I said, uh, next Tuesday we will be uh, beginning a new playthrough, being Hi-Fi Rush. And it will be going... Um, one, one week we'll be doing Hi-Fi Rush. One week we'll be continuing with Persona 5 Tactica. And then they'll keep going until one of them finishes, more likely Tactica. And then it'll just be nothing but Hi-Fi Rush and I'll be enjoying it. And you guys will just be watching me be out of to out of tune <laughs> with everything in it. But yeah, thank you all for watching today. And if you liked the video, please consider liking and subscribing. We're so close to 100 subs. I'm just hoping we can really reach this goal today at, at some point this year. And yeah, like, I'm not I'm not expecting anything big. Just I'm just hoping to just make general progress. So yeah. Um, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Yep. Yeah.